What's the stars? Yeah. That shape of star. <laughs> <laughs> you guys obviously have an exhibition against Illinois coming up. What do you like to gain out of that? And just any thoughts on it? for Bedore? Any thoughts on the starting five as well? Have you made any decisions about that? Well, I, 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 Gary, I mean Shea. Uh, uh, we we haven't settled in on their starting five, but we four guys will start: Hunter, and KJ, and and Juan, and Kevin will start. So so. Uh, Johnny hasn't practiced in about a, 10 days because of shin splints. He got a very severe case of them. So uh, uh, that would limit it down to two players that could start there, a Marco or Nick. So, so y'all can speculate or you got a 50% chance of being accurate on, on, on that last one. But uh, I hope we can find out just a little bit more where we're at because right now I don't have a a great feel for uh, where we are in relationship to how other teams would guard us or how hard or athletic or how big or long other teams would be, but but uh, uh, we'll get a good dose of that uh, Sunday. Uh, yeah, what is it about this team that stands out right now from the teams you've had in the past? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to be negative. Uh, uh, so there's some good things about it. You know, we can score in the post better than we have in some of our other teams in the past. Uh, uh, but, but uh, you know, we should not get this too twisted, as Russell Westbrook said. Uh, this team hasn't done anything close to what our other teams in the past uh, ended up doing. So hopefully we can play to the level as some other teams in the past. But, but right now, you know, we, we, we just have that potential tag around around our neck, which is, it's good to have potential because that means there, 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 there is possibilities. But potential also means you haven't done anything yet. And, and certainly that's where this team lies. With the fifth starting spot, will you play a different guy in both of the exhibition games I like in know. Puerto Rico? I don't know. Gary, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know what we're going to do. I, and I don't know who will start. Uh, uh, Against North Carolina Central either, so so uh, you, you know, you guys make a way too big a deal out of that. I've said that all along. It's way more important on who finishes rather than who starts. But people here seem to get hung up on the other. And specifically for the Illinois and even the other exhibition, they'll be here. What do you look for from your team in those games to make you feel better going into the season? I would say. Uh, uh, how we would react to how other people play us or defend us or attack us. And, and uh, I, I, I hope that we're exposed in what, you know, you know when you practice only against each, other, against each other and the other team knows your plays and this and that, a lot of times it doesn't look good and actually looks better against someone else. But you can also get a false sense of who you are playing against yourself. And then you go against somebody else and they say, well, they don't guard like, we guard and practice at all and it can totally uh, uh, take away or eliminate a, a way you thought you could get baskets maybe those things aren't near as clear anymore so I think we'll be exposed uh, 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 which is good I mean I'm not going to put um, you know you always want to play well and win whenever you play but I'm not going to put a lot of stock in the exhibition games uh, uh, because you know we, we we don't four guys are going to play a lot of minutes but 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 uh uh, we, we need to develop some other guys and, and hopefully those four guys won't have to play near as much in those situations, even at the expense of not playing well. <clears throat> Defense was something that you didn't work on for the first portion of the summer and that's the focus for you of late. Just what has the process been like trying to instill the defense? Well, first of all, yeah, yeah, that, that's a great point. First of all, I don't know too many coaches that do. Uh, 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 it's a lot easier to get guys to guard than it is to get guys to score. And, 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 and so with my teams, uh, uh, you want to give your offense a little bit of chance for success. So that's why I don't do that early on, because if you do that early on, your defense is ahead of your offense, you'll never get confidence in your offense. So, so that's just a philosophical thing with me. But, but no, we, 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 we've been working and grinding and all that stuff. But, but there are deficiencies defensively with this group. Uh, in large part because, you know, our, our five man uh, uh, is a seven foot one guy, you know, so pick and pops 
you know, if he had to play against a KJ Adams uh, uh, in short role situations, things like that, that could be problematic. So, so how do you guard the end the clock and things like that? Th those are the things that I think that uh, 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 I'm most uh, concerned with right now, just trying to figure out something that we're really good at. Uh, uh, and, 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 and then perfecting that as opposed to trying a whole bunch of different stuff and just being okay at all of it. So, so uh, but, but in theory, guard your man, activity, uh, 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 length, in theory, this team has potential to be very good defensively. It's just not quite there yet. Now, now, Marco, you've talked about the raw talent he can provide. Just what are the initial areas in which you're hoping to find him so he can be a contributor right away? Who is that? Did you say oh, Marco? Marco, yeah. Uh, well, first of all, he's our best athlete. So he, 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 he can put pressure on people athletically, whereas a lot of other players can. Right now, our best downhill athlete, without question, is Kevin. But El Marco can become that. And, and, and uh, uh, you know, he's, 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 he can be full speed in two steps. He, he's got a unique gear he can get to quicker than anybody else. And, and he, he should be a great defender in time. So and he's strong and he's tough. So, so I, I see, uh, uh, in order for us to like max out over time, and if you're going to have a crystal ball and say, who needs to play well to give us the best chance to max out? I'd say a Marco would be at the top of that list, uh, just because I think he can add an element that 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 this team will desperately need moving forward. Um, obviously, you guys played in Puerto Rico in August. Is there anything specific over the last three months that you guys have been working on specifically that you want to demonstrate in this game at, against Illinois on Sunday? Uh, a little bit of everything, you know. Uh, we. Uh, uh, summer was exhibition. We hadn't been running plays. We didn't do anything. So, and we won't run a lot in in, in the exhibition game. But, but uh, you know, the thing about it is, uh, I think the the exhibition game is probably designed more to see how key teams combat what we like to do. Uh, more so than it is, well, we got to work on this one aspect. Uh, like, well, Illinois trapped the post. You know, that's something that we hadn't even worked on until yesterday. You know, things like that. So there's some things that, that, uh, that we know we'll face moving forward that I hope Illinois will do some of those things to kind of give us a jump start on, on looking at that stuff moving forward. Bill, is this um, what you expect, what you envision anyway from KJ? as close to who he really is? I, you know what, uh, 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 Matt, I thought uh, three weeks ago, yes. I think today, I don't know. Because there's another big step that he still got to take. In order for us to be a good team, K.J. Adams needs to play well and score the ball. Uh, and even if he doesn't score a lot, put himself in positions to be guarded and things like that. And I think sometimes he can kind of step out of that and, and, and kind of uh, uh, become just out there. And just out there is good enough to get us beat. We don't have enough depth not, not to have our main guys play well. And so uh, uh, I, I actually thought uh, the way we were guarding, to, to the young lady's point earlier, the way that we were guarding each other early, KJ looked fantastic. And now we're saying, okay, well, what about if we do something totally different and everything? And now KJ can become a standard too. Mm -hmm. So, so, so th there's some things that we, we still got to we still got to work on with him on the perimeter. But, but he's he's made great progress. But, but in order for it to be, I mean, we're we're months away from being a well-oiled machine if we ever get there. But in order to get there, he's got to he's got to be aggressive, and people have to respect his scoring ability. And position-wise, though, that's this is probably where he fits best uh, from from what you've used him the first couple of years, anyway. That, I, I I don't think right? there's any question that he is uh, uh, he's he can do more positive things at the four than the five, but the things he can do well at the five totally separates him athletically from the guys that are gardening. So so you know if you got a, 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 a slower, not a slow, but a slower five-man guarding him in a ball screen, pick and pop, and drive it. 
It's a little different than driving against a four man when they're switching four. So it could be Kevin McCullough you're going against every time. So, so, but, but, but he is he is equipped to be a perimeter player without question. I also wonder how much you you know Illinois is big and it'll be great for your your team to see itself and all that. But how much have you talked to you guys about the reason and, and Maui and all that stuff? I, uh, 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 we really haven't. Mm -hmm. Uh, now they know why, sure. but but I don't think we talked about the real reasons why, you know. And and, and 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 I know Brad's talked about it, and I think Tom and Rick are doing something on Sunday as well. Uh, and then of course you know we've we've spoken about it, but when you when you when you look at early season tournaments, there's not been one early season tournament that is even close that would have the impact on college basketball than the Maui invitation of going back to the late 70s. Mm -hmm. Not one, going back to Chaminade beating Ralph. They're, 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 it's iconic that as much as that tournament has brought over, over time, nobody else has come close to even sniffing it. So, so, so and to see so many people, you know, and, and of course we're, there's, there's, a, there's a, a, a worldwide tragedy disaster seems like occurring way too often but but you, you know you just go back you know uh, uh less than three months and, and and you see people jumping in the ocean and, and trying to get away from the fire and the heat and everything it, it's awful and, and and to think with that community and all the lost loved ones and what they've been through uh, uh the perfect scenario and i think sean would agree with me on this the perfect scenario would have been if it was capable to still be played on the high but it wasn't. Mm -hmm. So this is the next best scenario, and, and hopefully, you know, we can bring some some positivity to some people that need it right now. And and this game, I, I don't know what we'll raise, Sean. You know what we'll raise? Probably north of two million. Yeah, that's awesome. For this game, you know, so 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 it, it'll it'll be it'll be pretty significant. I mean, in the big scheme of things, that's not a lot. But if you had a hundred different opportunities to do something like that, a couple of hundred million dollars, that'd be pretty special, though. You've had Jamari as a pleasant surprise so far. What do you think his ceiling is for this season and then also into the future? Uh, I think Jamari can be part of our rotation. I think that's the ceiling, be part of our rotation this year. Uh, uh, I also think he can be uh, a Travis Relaford, you know, here at Kansas, you know, something like that. Uh, uh, you know, he's still got a long ways to go. He needs to be a great defender, a great rebounder, and take care of the ball guy this year. Just so, you know, uh, if you're a young kid and you're coming in, let's just call it like it is, you know. Hey, rebound, play defense, take care of the ball, uh, 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 you know, shot selection. Those sorts of things are going to be most important uh, because, the, 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 you know, with the exception of maybe a Marco or Nick, uh, 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 usually you have veteran players, i.e. Juan or, or Kev or Hunter or somebody that, okay, if they take a Marshall shot, we can live with that. Uh, 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 but uh, uh, those would be the things that, that, that I think most freshmen that, that don't play a lot early that are capable of is that they, they can't identify themselves in those roles. And I think Mari can, which would be a heck of a role. I mean, uh, uh, if, if we can get out of him what I think we could potentially get out of him, I think he'll be part of our rotation. Are you concerned about Johnny maybe falling behind? Yeah, I am. I am, you know, because I don't know how much he's going to miss. Because he was behind, you know, getting here, and then he's been out for about ten days, and that ten days is probably going to be another week. So, so, uh, and then we're hopeful when he does come back, there's no setbacks. So, so, uh, uh, and he needs to rest as much as anybody, but, but he tries hard, and we couldn't be happier with him uh, so far on his, uh, on his presence and also his his, his play. Uh, uh, but he's a young guy that 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 needs reps, and so. Uh, you know, if you get him back in a week, you know, then, then you still have 10 days before uh, you go to Chicago, you know, so, you know, you may be able to pace it out a little bit, but, but, uh, uh, but we're kind of running out of time. He needs to be out there. How's Zach or Clements been practicing and any change in his status? Uh, just so you guys know, Zach will play against <laughs> Illinois. <laughs> because it's legal and permissible for a red shirt to play in the exhibition games. So don't read anything into it, but Zach's been fantastic. He, he, he's, I'd say, up until this point from, from uh, 
uh, you know, we talked about other guys being most improved, but as far as just continuing it, uh, uh, once uh, we started practicing, I think Zach's been, been probably as effective and as good as anybody. So, uh, but but the, the, the plan is still the same. What are your expectations for Parker this season? Uh, I'd love for him to be Hunter's backup. You know, and, 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 and they can play some together too. Parker's athletic enough. He can, they can play some together. Uh, and he's smart and he's playing more athletic. I think he's had a really good last month or so. Really good. Uh, 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 but I still think that from an aggressiveness standpoint, he can become more aggressive, in, in, you know, going after balls and things like that. But, you know, if, if you know, Hunter's going to play a lot of minutes, but Hunter's going to get in foul trouble too. We, we need somebody that can. That can you know, kind of you know hold the line so to speak uh, 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 when he's not in the game, and that could be KJ, but but I, I I'm really hoping it's Parker. Just looking at the back end of the rotation, what are you kind of hoping to see in this Illinois game, and just kind of as it plays out, what do you hope for the last you know six, seven, eight uh, in the rotation? Well, guys, you gotta you gotta understand something. We've only got ten guys total on scholarship, and one of them's gonna redshirt, and one of them's hurt. So that puts you at eight. That means there's no doubt what our rotation is. Uh, 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 right? I mean, so 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 uh, you know, just probably who's ever playing the the best. Uh, uh, who does Juan, Kevin, Hunt, and KJ enjoy playing the most with? I mean, this is this is called like it is now. Now, there's the, the percentage play is not all four of the guys are going to be in the game at the same time, but but at least for you know they make it happen for you know 20 minutes a game, but it's not going to happen for for 30 minutes a game uh, 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 because if it happened for 30 minutes a game, that means you'd have to take all five of them out and play five more guys the other 10, and that's not going to happen. You're just going to be mixing and matching. So so I, I, I would say just whoever plays the best with those guys. And, 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 and something else, we need Juan to play a lot of minutes. We need Kevin to play a lot of minutes. We need Hunter to play a lot of minutes. So if one of those guys are in the game and they can't take the pressure off Kevin or Juan by guarding the other team's best player, then that doesn't do anything to help save Juan or Kevin because now they got to ex still extend the most energy whenever the rotation guys are even in the game. So to me, those are the type of things we're looking for in our rotation. Coach, uh, how does uh, Hunter's presence change, create opportunities or challenges uh, for, for, for Juan? Uh, well, I don't know, if, Chris, if it creates a lot more challenges. You know, instead of throwing it to the rim, he's throwing pocket passes. You know, maybe some things like that, but for the most part, gosh, you know, Juan's got to be so fired up knowing he can throw it to a big guy and he can catch it, turn around, make a shot, you know. Uh, uh, the other thing is, is, is uh, uh, I also think that the other players benefit from Hunter being a good passer as much as anything. Like guys are actually think, they actually think, you know, I can get two or four more points a game with Hunter in the game if I know how to set my man up and do some different things. So, so uh, I think that's kind of exciting for guys too. Hey, I wonder what your best guess for what's the toughest thing for freshmen coming in and playing for you? And there's got to be something that's maybe the same every year. And I, how do these guys I think step the, up? I, you know I tell every recruit that we recruit, the most successful freshmen that we have that come in here are the ones that know they don't know not that complicated and the ones that 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 know then they're probably going to sh struggle through through you know uh, 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 stubbornness or whatever <laughs> until they figure out that you know we're going to do it this way regardless of and I'm not saying our way is always better but our way has been proven to work for us so 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 uh, uh, I, I think that's the case unfortunately for us we got three freshmen that all understand did, did you watch any NBA basketball? Last I night? watched us uh, uh, CB uh, 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 make a weak side block <laughs> last night. So did you, did you see any of the ring ceremony stuff? And I did not watch any of the ring ceremony. Okay. So so uh, uh, I'm sure it was great. Uh, I'm sure 
CB probably played with his <laughs> is that really thick beard he's he's been able to grow as he's matured. Uh, 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 but no, I, I didn't. I didn't watch. It was it. a thing. I mean, he was uh, Nuggets Twitter said he's shaving. They they noticed it. They that he actually shaved. Yeah. So it's big when you can make Twitter right? like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's turning heads. It must it's be there. It's turning heads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you and your family miss the most about Champaign Urbana? Uh, you know, I don't think we've talked like that. Uh, but I do know this: a lot of nice friends. A lot of good people, and it'll be nice to go back and and uh, uh, see some of those people because it's been 20 years. Uh, I actually, you know, if I was going to say what I probably miss the most, I miss the ex players, you know, because uh, uh, we, we, we had a unique, unique bond. But, but uh, you know, I, we, we like it here so much, I we don't think much about the, the past in that way. But there's a lot of good friends we still have there. All right, coach, thank you. All right,